Here are your words for unit one vocabulary. Pre please write down the term, the definition, and part of speech. Adage, noun, a proverb or wise saying. Like a proverb, an adage can be true or not so much. It's a folksy saying that's been around for a long time that it doesn't even matter if it's true. Like here we have Benjamin Franklin, a penny saved is a penny earned. Bonanza, noun, a rich mass of ore in a mine, something very valuable, profitable, or rewarding, a source of wealth or prosperity, a very large amount, sudden profit or gain. Bonanza is a noun that means a sudden rush of wealth or good fortune, but in a more scientific sense, it also means a rich source of precious metal. Churlish. Adjective, lacking politeness or good manners, lacking sensitivity, difficult to work with, or rude. Churlish has its origins in late Old English, but its modern day meaning of deliberately rude developed in the 14th century. It's a fitting adjective to describe boorish or surly behavior. Citadel. Noun. A fortress that overlooks and protects a city, any strong or commanding place. Oops. Among the most historically famous citadels are the Acropolis in Athens and the Tower of Love in London. Even though we're building fewer physical fortresses these days, citadel remains a useful word. Collaborate, verb, to work with, work together. Inside the word, you see co-labor or working together. Cooperation is simply splitting up the work and getting it done. Collaboration is when you brainstorm, create, and share possible solutions. Decree, noun, an order having the force of law. Verb, to issue such an order, command, firmly or forcefully. If you go back far enough, a decree referred to a decision handed down by the Roman emperor. In more modern usage, a divorce decree is a document issued by a court that terminates a marriage. Discordant, adjective, disagreeable in sound, jarring, lacking in harmony, conflicting. You can see the word discord in discordant. Discord is tension felt between people who strongly disagree about something. So discordant describes experiencing discord, a lack of harmony. Evolve, verb, to develop gradually to rise to a higher level. This is the perfect image to keep in mind when thinking of evolve. This is how man has evolved. And it does not happen all at once, it happens gradually. Excerpt. Noun, a passage taken from a book, article, etc. Verb, to take such a passage, to quote. Excerpt sounds like a lot like accept with an added R. And it came into the English in the 16th century from a Latin word meaning plucked out. Grope, verb, to feel about hesitantly with the hands, to search blindly and uncertainly. If you're asked a question and you grope for an answer, you're at a loss for words. You can also grope another person, although I wouldn't recommend it. Grope is usually used to describe touching that is unwanted, like in this picture. Hover, verb, to float or hang suspended over to move back and forth uncertainly over or around. To help remember the meaning of hover, think of it as containing the preposition over. Things that hover hang over. Jostle. Verb, to make or force one's way by pushing or elbowing, to bump, shove, brush against, to compete for. Jostle describes both what someone does, like an impatient person who jostles other people out of his way on a crowded bus or subway car, and what happens to those victims. So here you have two people jostling over a football. Laggard, noun, a person who moves slowly or falls behind. Adjective, falling behind, slow to move, act or respond. So who was the bigger laggard? the tortoise or the hare. Well, the turtle sure was slow moving, but at least he continued at a steady pace. The hare was speedy, but took more time than necessary, goofing around and falling behind. 
It's a tough call and one that the literary community has totally been dragging their feet on. What a bunch of laggards. Plot it. Plot it. A plot noun. Applause. Enthusiastic praise or approval. Preclude. Verb. To make impossible. Prevent. Shut out. This is a very formal word, but it has a simple meaning. When something is precluded, it can't happen. See the prefix pre in preclude and in prevent. It is signaling that these words are all about things done before another action would happen to make it impossible. Revert, verb, to return, go back. Revert has been around since the early 14th century, and it has changed little in meaning from the original turn back and return. You can revert to a simpler way of life or revert to bad behavior. Rubble, noun, broken stone or bricks, ruins. Rubble rhymes with bubble, but when a bubble bursts, it just dissolves into liquid. When rubble is piles of rock, concrete, brick, and other remains that are a very physical reminder of destruction. Servile, adjective, of or relating to a slave, behaving like or suitable for a slave or servant, menial, lacking spirit or independence, ejectly submissive. To remember servile, just think of the word servant. They both derive from the Latin service, slave. In fact, servile also means anything characteristic of a slave. Vigil, noun, a watch, especially at night, any period of watchful attention. Vigil comes from the Latin word for awake, and all its meanings include the idea of watchfulness. If you are attending a vigil or keeping vigil, you shouldn't expect to take a nap. The vigil is an apt kind of demonstration for peace movements, and it's calm, nonviolent, and solemn, with participants standing quietly, sometimes holding candles. Wrangle, verb, to quarrel or argue in a noisy, angry way, to obtain by argument, to herd, noun, a noisy quarrel. Wrangle, in its current meaning, comes from the 19th century American term wrangling, the art of herding cattle, probably with the idea in mind that rounding up all those tiresome details is a bit like rounding up all those tiresome cattle.